Today at Nuremberg PCIM 2025, Sysoid has some fantastic solutions to some high power problems. So without further ado, tell the audience what's going on with this behemoth of a motor. Yeah. So this is an actual motor from uh, Beyond Motors, uh, one of our partners. And the reason we put it up for display is that we want to emphasize that we're building a complete ecosystem around our inverter solutions so that a customer can feel the confidence that we have proven designs that have been pre-tested that it works straight out of the box. So that's why we're displaying them here. Um, and, you know, really to emphasize that you can take our reference design, get your stuff up and running within days even. And again, as you said, this is your reference design, unchanged, unaltered, put straight into a box, connected straight to the motor and working. Exactly. So it just takes a few days to set up, do the calibration and you have your own uh, setup and then can start modifying and testing. Fantastic. And just to be clear, these are stackable motors and each one I think can do about 430 kilowatt hours? Yes, 430 kilowatt, exactly. So and, you can stack and so, three of and, them. And if you had multiple of them, you'd have one of these additional systems per motor? Yes, indeed. You need one inverter per motor to, and, to drive them. And so two of them would be not that far from a, like a megawatt of motor kit. Ah, oh, that's ridiculous. So <laughs> what would you use it for? Well, the, these go in uh, applications like mining equipment, so that really need a high amount of power. And that's why they need to shift large amounts of material or, or, or deal with large torques. And, and, and so that kind of makes sense why you need so much power. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. And you know, one of the, the benefits of silicon carbide is that um, we've, we've have these, we have these measurements um, where even from the lower power end, mm. you were already running at 93, 94% efficiency you really, compared to um, IGBTs, which run 70, 80% in, in the low power range. And so to help engineers integrate these newest solutions into their, uh, into their systems, that's where you guys come in with your um, power system solutions. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. So they can take the reference design and be up and running really quickly. Fantastic. So here it looks like we've got another design using the reference layout. Could you again tell us what's going on? Yes, yeah, certainly. So this is uh, an actual application from a customer called uh, Hydro Leduc. They make hydraulic pumps. So normally this blue part here goes onto a combustion engine. Mm -hmm. But of course, if you take it out of the vehicle, you need some other way to drive your hydraulic power. So they've developed the complete system with uh, their own electromotor. And as you can see, they took our reference design exactly as it's meant to, changed it to the form factor that fits to their box. But it really got, it has the same um, parts within it. And so again, the same reference design, same mm -hmm. module, same layout in terms of like the electronic side. So engineers don't have to make that many changes to adapt it for their own solutions. Exactly. So that's exactly what they did. They took the proven reference design, modified it to their needs and were up and running very quickly. Fantastic. So we've seen some really cool examples of the stuff that your evaluation kits have been used in. But for the engineers out there who want to get their own evaluation systems and use it in their stuff, what would you recommend that they do? The easiest way is to uh, go through our website, uh, find our local distributors, our local contacts, or contact us ourselves. Fantastic. Thank you for having us today. Thank you.